Korah Belech Abdova Miyoyit, Dr. Khan Shmulevitz, the Gauls of Riyah Shreit do tshuva. So close to you, hear the coil, everything is screaming to you, do tshuva. Is there a time more that the Bria is screaming do tshuva than today? We come together here tonight, we'll divert for a minute off the topic. Maybe to be mechavik the topic. We come here tonight, everybody knows news, we're not talking to a naive crowd. Everybody knows that the United States government might take the liberty to bomb Syria within the next 24 hours. And the Rishon in Syria said that the minute they're bombed, they're going to bomb Achim B'nai Israel. Are we complacent? Are we complacent to live our lives the way they are when we hear such a call? Are we ready to be mamshach our lives the way they are when there's such a sakana in Kalal Yisrael? Why? Well, it's nothing's going to be, nothing's going to happen, we don't have to worry about it. Who's telling me we don't have to worry about it? My Yetzir Taif or my Yetzir We're living in the most tumultuous time that could be. And everybody knows that the days in South El are the days when World War II started. And the level. So Khajbu, the last Khajbu from last year. We hear such kailas, we hear such screaming, Kikara Velacha Baba Miyait. It's so close for us that it's calling us. Come back, do chuva, save the world. The matzah, the matzah, that we have to save ourselves. I don't want to go into all the other things that are going on, all the other problems that there are. But everybody realizes where we're holding in the world. Everybody realizes that it's a matchbox the world. Thanks to the Shemar Matzels and Klal Yisrael. So we hear the chaos. Kikar Melech Adava Miyayin. Scream to us. Come back. Do tshuva. It's Shrei Tzumot. The Kabitzele. And days are days that the Shrei Shalom is close to us. Days that we have a koyach to do tshuva, we don't do tshuva. That's the greatest fear on a person. You didn't use what I gave you. I gave you days that you could use to do tshuva, you didn't use it. In Me'iri, in Chibar tshuva can't tell you which page, but the beginning of Chibar tshuva and Zichar is. To me, he said that someone doesn't do tshuva and aseres be tshuva. Ain't lei chelik rachman al slom dal kei Yisrael. You hear the burin? Why? It's a double bashut. Because the angel is so close to us and he's calling to you and he's asking you and he's beckoning to you when you don't do tshuva. There's something wrong. There's something wrong with you. It reminds me of a story. I think it's a mitzvah to say over in the tzibur. Frat, when there's mechanchem here. There was the first great malamed in Shiva Tevedas. A tzadik nizgo from Herschel Osilski, a tzadik levracha. His last years as a malamed, he went into the manal and told the manal that this yingle in my class, in the first great class, is a goy. I says, what? Goy? Mechtesim. says, I teach Allah Beis for so many, so many years. I say, hold till him for every yingle that he should learn the Allah Beis. He says, Tamalam. He said, hold till him for every yingle that he should know the Allah Beis. Of their yingle, of Shanois, because I'm derived hold till him, and he still doesn't know it. It's a nishkayid. Kachab, the mother of the Russians, she ingled the mother was a guy. Kachab. In the Yiddish state, are the Amish that comes to the world and calls you to do tshuva, you don't do tshuva, they are headed to the case of the same mindset. Are the Amish that shrives in you, and the Amish that comes to you and he gives you an elbow and you may sleep, and say, Rosh Hashanah says, you may tshuva, and you don't move. You don't make it a, 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 a U-turn, you don't change your way of life, you don't change to a different direction. You don't feel that you're all a person. 
Thus is the Tviya that there is. What does Tshuva mean to us? We speak about Tshuva, Tshuva Ma'ava. speak about putting everything back together again. Let's talk about one Kuda of Tshuva. So we all have a shyness to everyone in his own level, on his level. Yiddishkeit. Judaism is not a religion. Shamsul Falish surely is not a rightist. Right in Pasuk Vahero, and I think everybody should look it up. The Pasuk of the Kachem Eschem Lila Om. He says this in Islam and Judaism. He says, in the world, there's religion. And there's nationality. I'm a British Protestant, I'm a French Protestant. In Yiddishkeit, your nationality is Yiddishkeit. You don't have a nationality and a religion. Your nationality and your religion are both Judaism. For a nation. What's the difference? Because by the Jewish world, religion means, in the best of cases, five times a day. The rest of the day has nothing to do with it. A yid is a yid 24-7. Yiddishkeit means 24-7. I'm a Yid all the time. It controls my life all the time. It takes me all the time. It goes with, with me all the time. Everything goes with me. Kol Masrachah. Everything is the Rebbein Shalom. Everything is the Yid. Those that have some so for this. There's two ways to look at Yiddishkeit. There's a way to look at Yiddishkeit as a restriction. There's a way to look at Yiddishkeit as a schia. There's a way to look at Yiddishkeit that Yiddishkeit is restricting me, it's holding me back. It doesn't let me do this, it doesn't let me do that. There's a way to look at Yiddishkeit as a schus, as a schus to be a yid. Where is the place where we can test ourselves? which we belong to. Everybody will claim to belong to those that have realized that they're supposed to be a yid. But there's a test, a very good litmus test. Don't take long to prove we were holding. And we go ask the Shaila by our love. And he tells us also when we expect it to hear Mutter. What is our reaction? And we go as to Shaila and we're told, I could be Mati you with the Evet, but Lachatchila not. Where do we choose? The Bidi Evet or the Lachatchila? That's where we see if we look at Yiddishkeit as a restriction or we look at Yiddishkeit as a Shia. If we look at Yiddishkeit as a Shia, also and would have been the same to us. If we look at Yiddishkeit as a schia, we want to live a lechat chelubiki Yiddishkeit. Not a bidi evadiki Yiddishkeit. If we look at Yiddishkeit as a restriction, then the minute I can take off the shackles of this restriction, I'll take off the shackles. The minute I can drei the charis, I drei the charis. Rosh Hashanah is a yoyim adin. It says, in Eeuf. The Sultan came for the Rebbeinu Shalom by he ayoyim. In Zerah HaKadosh it says, by he ayoyim with Rosh Hashanah. And the Sultan the Ebsha said, you know my Ismail Avdi Eeuf, you know Eeuf, go see what you do in MC, I'll give you permission. What did the Sultan have against Eeuf? Zabdir Rebbe Rabbi Yenison, today I think was the yard side of Rebbe Rabbi Yenison, Yarns Drash. Nu 
In the time of Rizcha, your man is on an essen. Rosh Hashanah, the Yom Adin, came to Satan and said, he sits in Eretz Utz. He's not in Eretz Yisrael, he's not kind to Rosh Hashanah. He's living in Chutzler, it's what he wants from him. But he should have gone and moved there to Israel to be able to be a kind of Rosh Hashanah of the level of Yom And it's Yom Adin, it's Manshilon Ar Eser, to eat in Rizcha, and that's why he had a Tfiyan. He said the beautiful Pshat in the Gemara Chagiga, it's not for now. No, you don't get the word of forever of your innocence. It's Chav Tatsitin. It's Kom Tayyayim Adin. Let us remember that on Yom Adin we'll be asked, why did you try to drain the Chareis from it? Why did you try to drain the Chareis from this and from that and from that? If the Rebbein Shalem had a Tviyo, the Sultan was able to be Mikatrik on Iyu, if they lived in Chutz Lorenz, why are you not let Yisrael be Mikatrik with some Isis? Do you know what the Rebbein Shalem could tell us on our lives, on Rosh Hashanah, what the Sultan could be Mikatrik, they to the lobby? But what do we have to learn? We have to learn to live a Yiddishkeit of wanting to do. Of wanting to do. I'm not talking about Chumras that are the Flemishur Sadin. I'm not talking about Chumras that are done in public. I'm talking about our private lives, our private Anhogas Achayim, our Mitzvahs and Ayes and Tevim that we do between ourselves. To do them on a chadchila de kerefim. To do them on a chadchila de kerefim. Try to do a mitzvah bishleimus. To give mishalem. A lot of mishalem. I want to talk about one thing. Our biggest schus is we got this noyach ba'av azacharta. Why? The Torah says in the latest passing in Pasha's Bereshit, the Noyach and Motzachim. But the Chazal Noyach was really belonged to the dirt. He should have been wiped off the earth with the dirt. Motzachim. He found Chain. Found Chain in the Revenge on Zeiss. Meaning, even when there's Din, we can find Chain in the Revenge on Zeiss. Zabdur Chaim HaKodesh, Seif Pasha's Bereshit. There are certain mitzvahs. That you can find chen with them in the Rebbeinu Shalom's eyes and they can save you. <coughs> Even when everybody gets punished, one person can be saved because he found chen in the Rebbeinu Shalom's eyes. Half of the seven. Which mitzvahs the Hanukkah doesn't teach us exactly which mitzvahs. One mitzvah there is that brings chen is a klara chazal. The mitzvah of Shabbos. Shmira Shabbos brings chen in the Rebbeinu Shalom's eyes. It's clear in Chazal the Chabs and the Shaykh is the Chen. Let us, before the last Chabas in the year, which the last Chabas in the year, Sparam Akhdash will teach us that we really can go to this. The Sassam says, Barachata Mubayacha, Barachata Mutsaysacha, Barachata Mutsaysacha, but every Chabas is a Baracha in the beginning of Chabas and a Baracha at the end of Chabas. So too, the Baruch in the first Shabbos of the year and the Baruch in the last Shabbos of the year. There's a special Baruch of the Shabbos. The Shabbos is Kailu, the Kedusha of Rosh Hashanah. Shabbos is Kailu the whole week. Let us talk about our Shabbos. Is our Shabbos Allah Chadchila the Kishabbos? Or is Allah Shabbos at the end of the Kishabbos? Do we bask in the light of Shabbos? Or do we find Shabbos to be something painful? Was it ringing our ears, the Shparach, on a long Friday, after Shabbos afternoon, I don't know what to do on board? Was it ringing our ears, the Shparach, on a Friday night, on a long Friday night, I don't know what to do on board? So we go to be the We go to be the Ebed mode. We could read this, we could read this, maybe yeah, maybe not, maybe it's at the Shulchan Aruch, you to read it, maybe not, but read it. The other mode. Because we're bored. 
Shabbos you have to do, and I don't know if you want to do. How much Vidabar Dabar are we Mikhaim on Shabbos? How much do we talk on Shabbos but we're not allowed to talk? How much of Dvarim Shal Chayil that are also of the Allah do we talk on the Shabbos? Our Shabbos is very in the area. Everybody Shabbos, all over. We lost the appreciation of what Shabbos is. I can tell you that 95% of the oil sitting here, their great grandfather did not speak a word on Shabbos. That's what Rav Kleinstrom did 100 years ago. Didn't talk to one battalion on Shabbos. Years ago, I was walking down the street and he had stopped me. He criticized me on something that I did and I was my cow and never to do again. Walking in the street with a towel, it's a goyish street, you don't walk in the street with a towel. Huh? He criticized me and answered my mind, I was my cow and I myself that he's right. But he told me, you think maybe I'm saying it for some reason that I have something to you, I will tell you a story. To show you that I'm giving you a mindset that I live myself. Before the Muhammad Tafresh Tzadik test, the seed came from Galicia to Poland and was a virus of the Shabbos. He ate in the house, a yid of Al Bos, Molly Begodi Shachsid Shi'id, Molly Begodi Shantayla. Middle of the Suda come into Bachan, say the Shabbos, walk into the kitchen, take the food and leave. He has to eat what is to bar. He says, my children. Where do they eat? You steal them. Next day he goes up to the bar and says, why don't you eat at home? Our father is a working person. So on your mullet. It can't be that it shouldn't come out one dipper in the middle of the Suda Shabbos. It can't be. Because he's used to talking all week to the Michal, so we don't need a Roman Shabbos. Because even Abolcha, not a hundred years ago, not two hundred years ago, 1939. The father didn't bother him, he didn't appreciate it. Why am I saying it over to realize what Shabbos meant? Abshim Shapinkis brings in the Sefer on Shabbos. He was a child, a teenager, and he was in Brownsville, he grew up in Brownsville. And in Brownsville, Gevayt HaTzadik, Rabbi Yosef Lis, Zeich HaTzadik, the Rach, who lived in Shalayim and Akedish. And he was talking to him in a court, in a schoolyard. And there was a gate. And Rabbi Shimshim was holding the gate and moving the gate with his hand. And Rabbi Yosef Lis asked him, what are you doing? So he said, nothing. He asked him again, what are you doing? And he said, nothing. And this went on once, twice, three times. The fourth time he said, I'm moving the gate. Dr. Rabbi Yosef, list on Shabbos, you can't do anything without realizing what you're doing. Shabbos, you have to realize every minute what you're doing. And if you didn't realize you're moving a gate, there's something in the room which you have caught on Shabbos. Dr. Rabbi Yosef, list, where do I get such a saga from with nothing to do with me? I grew up with my grandfather, a Kotzke Chassid, and when it came Friday, Chatzis, it said, when she should be, she killed me up. When it came Friday, Chatzais, my his hand started to shake from Pachat from Shabbos. So that's where I got my Pachat from Shabbos from. Azeriot Eitzkiz and Shabbos by your grandparents, not by Yemen's. By your own grandparents, my own great grandparents. Shabbos, the hands sitted from Shabbos. My brother, the Lev Megizumzai, was a few weeks after his Bamitzman. And he walked by a light. And he closed the light. Opened the light. What would we all say? My mother and I showed him, and she rested in Ghanaian and told him, and you already made it dirty. Those are the words that she told me in Yiddish. He tells me that Allah Yahweh still has a pacha from Shabbos from those words. 